Hi everyone, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here today to talk to you about some common household items that are easy to obtain and inexpensive that you can use in your spell casting or in your workings. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is honey. So honey is commonly available. This is Golden Flow Honey from Austin, Texas. Um, you don't have to get this kind of honey. Obviously, you can use whatever is available to you and whatever is affordable in your area. Honey is excellent to smooth the path as well as to sweeten things. So obviously, you can use honey in a sweetening jar or a honey jar. You can also use honey in a variety of other ways, such as as an offering to go along with a service to sweeten things. You could dab honey on a paper petition. You could dab honey on another item related to your working or your spell work, but don't ever use honey to actually coat a candle. It is highly flammable and you will have quite an, an eruption with your candle if you do that. But honey is excellent to smooth the path and to sweeten up a situation. And that's a common one. Another very common ingredient easy to obtain is olive oil. And you can use olive oil to dress a candle. You can use olive oil to dress a candle and that is something that is extremely traditional. People didn't used to have a lot of fancy oils or a lot of different kinds of um, intention oils or spell oils. They used whatever oil or whatever fat was available to them. So if you don't have any other oils on hand and you would like to use an oil to dress your candle, you can definitely use olive oil. Just be sure that you are setting your intentions and putting energy into that oil and into the candle as you you are dressing it. Now, um, olive oil does have a low smoke temperature, meaning that it comes to, it smokes very easily um, at a low temperature. So it's pretty flammable, so don't put a ton of it on your candle, but uh, definitely the same amount that you would usually use is totally fine. You can also use olive oil as a base to create other oils for yourself out of the common ingredients that you have in your home. Your spiritual oil or your spell casting oil doesn't have to be fancy, it does, just has to have your intentions behind it, right? So one thing that would be a good example to make an oil out of using your olive oil as a base would be cinnamon sticks. You can add cinnamon sticks to a jar of oil or you could just pour olive oil over the top of cinnamon sticks such as this and completely fill it to the top and cover it and let it sit for about two weeks. Shake it every time that you think of it or every time that you see it. And then after two weeks, you can either be done or you can change the cinnamon sticks out. So take out the old cinnamon sticks and put in fresh cinnamon sticks. You could add other ingredients to make it more powerful like coffee. Um, the more, aromatic your ingredients are, the stronger the oil is going to be or the more, more noticeable um, the, the aroma is going to be in that oil. So herbs like rosemary, cinnamon, ingredients like coffee, those are great things to make a quick oil, a quick and simple oil like this. Cinnamon stick is our next ingredient that is commonly found in many households or in the kitchen that can be used in magic. Cinnamon is excellent for cleansing, assisting with cleansing and clearing. Um, it's also amazing. It, it's a very traditional good luck charm. And traditionally, um, especially in European magic, European folk magic, people would burn a cinnamon stick. So you can actually just light the end of a cinnamon stick on fire like you would a stick of Palo Santo or another kind of bark and use it as an incense like that. You can also throw it into ritual fires if you're in an area where you have fires outside or you participate in fires. You can throw some sticks of cinnamon into the fire as an offering to the spirit of fire or as an offering to another spirit and it is used for good luck that way to bring in blessings and good luck. 
Cinnamon is also excellent for making floor washes or for just generally raising the vibrations in your home. So one way to do that would be to put on a pot of boiling water and add some cinnamon sticks, turn it down after it boils, let it simmer, and let those aromas just fill up your home. And know that as those aromas fill up your home, your home is also being filled with blessings, abundance, prosperity, good luck. Those are all the kinds of things that cinnamon is excellent for. Um, you can then use that as a floor wash after it's strained and cooled, or you can just do the stovetop uh, method, the stovetop ritual, if you would like to. Now, that brings us to our next ingredient, which is citrus. I've got a lemon here, as well as a lime. And if you want to make that stovetop recipe even more potent, or if you want to make that floor wash even more potent, you can add some citrus to it. Um, you don't need to add the full fruit. What I recommend is that you save the peelings from fruit that you have already used. Citrus is excellent for raising vibrations, for lifting spirits, for getting rid of heavy, um, stagnant energies, for getting rid of um, any kind, anything that has been holding you down or holding you back or anything that feels heavy in your home. So great for lifting depression, lifting um, bad moods, uh, raising vibrations after there has been anger in the home, things of that nature. So that would be one way to heighten the energy and potency of that cinnamon solution. Um, another thing, there's lots of things to do with citrus, but let's talk a little bit more about cinnamon before we move on. So cinnamon is also excellent in money spells, and one thing that I would recommend is you can actually take some spirit money or a dollar bill, write your name and your date of birth and your petition for money on that spirit money or on that dollar bill, fold it up as small as you can get into a, a long um, shape and then tie that around the cinnamon stick. And that can be a spell in and of itself. But if you choose, you can go ahead and do other things with that. You can keep it around as a charm. You can put it in a charm bag. You can put it in a mojo. You can put it in, in a place in your home or outside of your home where you're going to see it a lot. You could um, put it in your garden. You could put it in a spell bottle. There's a lot of different things that you could do with that. Okay, so moving on to the citrus. As I was saying, lemon is excellent, particularly lemon is excellent for raising vibrations. So in folk magic, um, lemon has gotten quite a large reputation for banishing and for souring. Well, guess what it's also good for? It's good for clearing. What does clearing mean? Clearing means clarity. It means cleansing. The reason that lemon is excellent for that is because it's very uplifting. It's bright. It raises vibrations. It brings up the energy, right? So you can use it that way um, on the stovetop like I was describing with the cinnamon or you can make a floor wash. Uh, one thing that I really like to do is use lemon and limes and maybe even some orange freshly squeezed into some bath water. And that's an excellent bath for cleansing, clearing, and uplifting kind of all in one. You can couple that with a floor wash if you so choose, with a floor wash of the very same ingredients to kind of double up the power, or we call that layering the power. You can also then use your um, citrus as an offering. So if you wanted to do an entire um, ritual that's multi-layered, for cleansing out any unwanted vibrations and really uplifting and bringing in clarity, bringing in high vibrations, bringing in elevated moods and blessings, then you could do the bath, the floor wash, and then some additional um, prayer and offerings to your ancestors or your spirit guides by offering them the same citrus that is used in the other two locations. Lime is also excellent for baths. Um, actually, uh, 
j a bath with just lime is very, 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 very powerful. And it's a little bit more specific towards removing blockages and obstacles, whereas lemon is a bit more specific towards cleansing, clearing, and uplifting. By the way, lemon's also related to the heart in that way. So it's a great way to get over heartbreak or to assist with healing of that nature as well. Lime is a little bit more specific towards removing blockages and obstacles and cleansing out unwanted vibrations in terms of difficulties that have recently been faced. So Lime is a little bit um, more potent for very challenging situations when specific difficulties or specific blockages and obstacles are present. And you can create a very powerful spiritual bath with just lime and sea salt, but it needs to be freshly squeezed lime. So you just get a citrus press and squeeze as many limes as you can into that spiritual bath. Lime can also be used for an offering, and I do use lemons, limes, and um, oranges for offerings. Spirits and ancestors love citrus. Many people say that they wouldn't do the um, lemons and limes for offerings, or they specifically wouldn't do the lemons, but I do, and I, I tend to receive good results with all citrus. Lime and lemons can also be used in magic in the way that we've all come to know, right? So. You can um, put your slices of lemon around a candle to assist with clearing unwanted energies, vibrations, or ties, even in a cut and clear uh, spell or working. Or you can use it in a healing spell to cleanse and clear unwanted vibrations. And then limes can very much be used in the same way, but I really prefer to use them for removing blockages and obstacles. So I use limes in my road openers to assist with that. In addition, limes have been used in many different cultures in folk magic for absorbing negative energies or unwanted energies. So that's another way to use it in your candle spells or in your other kinds of workings. And many people will slice open a lime or lemon and cover it with salt and then place it in the corners of a home to help clear a home or cleanse a home. And you can also use it in your candle workings in very much the same way. Sea salt is excellent for a cleansing bath, especially if you have been exposed to unwanted um, spirit activity or you want to prevent yourself from being exposed to unwanted spirit activity. You can use it in conjunction with the citrus, but you don't have to just um, even half a cup of sea salt in your bath water it makes a very potent uh, energetic or spiritually cleansing bath. Now, if you want to create black salts, which is excellent for protection and banishing, you can take some actual coal or charcoal. Um, this is from a fire. So if you are around fires or you're in a place where you can have fires, you can, at a later date when it's cool, you can collect some of that charcoal from the fire, mix it with some sea salt, grind it with your mortar and pestle, and make an excellent homemade black salt. Okay, getting down to the last couple of ingredients that I've got here. Eggs. Eggs are an excellent traditional item for cleansings. You can use an egg to cleanse your body. You can then break the egg, crack the egg in the toilet and flush away unwanted energies or vibrations. You can also place an egg in each corner of the home to absorb unwanted or un unneeded negative energies, entities, or vibrations or influences and then flush those down the toilet after a day or so. So eggs are excellent for cleansings and easily found in most homes. 
Now, conversely, eggs are also associated with fertility. So you could do some really simple spells using eggs as a focal point for fertility. Fertility is not just about uh, procreating or having children. Fertility is also about abundance, right? So you could use that in prosperity spells, abundance spells, money spells, working with the spirit of wealth. Apples are associated with love. Apples are excellent to use in love workings or spells. You can put a sliced up apple in a sweetening jar to assist with a love spell or assist with sweetening a current relationship. You can cut an apple in half and burn a candle inside of it for love work or as an offering. And in addition, apples make excellent offerings. Most fruit makes excellent offerings to ancestors and all multiple other types of spirits, including saints. Coffee. Coffee is an excellent ingredient for speeding up your spell work, speeding up your workings, um, adding power, heightening the energy, um, adding speed and intensity. Um, just like caffeine makes us uh, act faster and think faster. It's going to do the same in your spells or in your workings. Many people say it includes it, it uh, encourages spirits to work faster. I'm not sure if I see it that way, but it does make an excellent offering. You can use brewed black coffee or you can use the powdered coffee grounds. Um, you can use it on your candles, you can use it around your candles, you can use it on your altar. In addition, coffee is excellent for removing blockages and obstacles. Just like it gets things flowing inside of our body, it gets things energetically flowing as well. So don't overlook the potency of some normal everyday coffee to add to your workings. And I think with these ingredients, you can see that most household kitchens have a store of powerful ingredients that are easily accessible to create a very effective spell or folk magic working. Thank you so much for watching today and please uh, subscribe to the channel and click thumbs up on the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again and stay blessed.